technology is one of the key areas of innovation for many current tech producers. Although wearable technology might seem like a new concept, it is quite old, much older than the invention of Thomas Edison's first light bulb. Aliens from outer space and their classic tight suits with antenna laden helmets are stereotypes of early science fiction and fantasy literature from the 18th to 19th centuries. Many scientists were enlightened by both early science fiction literature as well as movies from the early to mid 20th century. Inspiration was found in abundance from movies such as Destination Moon in 1950, Abbott and Costello Go to Mars in 1953, Back to the Future in 1989, Minority Report in 2002. There are countless examples of science fiction works that have foreshadowed or even inspired the development of real, wearable technologies. Number one, the very first wearable device is the eyeglass invented in 1286. It benefited many people suffering from myopia. Number two, the Nuremberg Egg is recorded to be the first ever portable mechanic timekeeping devices in the history of wearable technology invented in 1510. Number three, the Abacus Ring that came into existence in the 1600s is the oldest smart ring. It provides tech you can wear around your finger. It is not a recent invention, but a precursor to today's smart ring. Number four, Bonafide Ventilating Hat is the first air conditioned hat invented in the 1800s to prevent overheating of the gentleman's head while wearing top hats, and that day overheating was often problematic. Number five, mathematicians Edward O. Thorpe and Claude Shannon built a computer small enough to fit inside a shoe, designed to help win at roulette. Number six, Hugo Gernsback invented the traditional television glasses that is a small portable television screen, which can be strapped to the user's face. He is also referred to as the pioneer of modern science fiction. Number seven, the very first Sony Walkman was launched in 1979 and was a low cost portable stereo that changed the way people listen to music. And number eight, a head mounted screen private eye handheld input device invented in 1989 25 years before the Google Glasses. Wearable Activity Trackers Activity trackers are utilized for heart rate monitoring, distance travel, calories burned, and how much sleep you're getting. Activity trackers show individuals how active they really are and motivates them to be more active and eat healthier. Users have stated that if they forget to wear the tracker, they are not as motivated to exercise and the need to beat their previous goals becomes stressful. Fitbit, Garmin, Jawbone, and Withings are a few of the activity trackers on the market. Smartwatches are another form of wearable technology that also tracks user activity but functions more like a smartphone and sometimes used to pay for transactions at the register. A good example of this is the Apple Watch. Smart glasses. Smart glasses are being used in the workforce as virtual assistants, on-the-job training, video streaming, and collaboration. It has become easier for employees to complete tasks, conduct meetings, share projects, and videos. With Google Glass, you can use voice command, send SMS, email, search the web, and of course, take pictures. You're always connected, so browsing the internet is never a problem. The biggest concern with smart glasses are how they can affect your vision. Side effects include eye strain, headaches, blind spots, and possible slight loss of vision. Wearable military technology, HUD, which stands for Heads Up Display, is a great piece of technology that helps in battle. The military is able to gauge the distance of their enemies and friendly forces. 3D audio. Another great piece of technology in combat. Soldiers can determine whether a noise is coming from north, south, east, or west. The military has been working on perfecting the cloaking device. This technology allows objects and people to become fully invisible. 
The idea is to have an upper hand on the enemy. Wearable tech being worn underneath uniforms are also being tested to keep track of soldiers' vital signs. In the future, the military has plans to evolve soldiers into Iron Man. The movie The Circle is an awesome movie that introduces how the world can evolve through wearable technology and social media. If you haven't seen this movie, you should. It gives great insight into how the world is evolving in technology. In the near future, wearable tech will become more robust and ubiquitous throughout society. Today, the modern consumer is still wary of wearable tech for a variety of reasons, whether it be cost-benefit concerns or the very real worry of data breach and the security risks that stigmatize wireless devices. Privacy is also a very real concern as data from wearables is also gathered for various reasons, primarily for marketing value. Today's consumer is hesitant to embrace the current stable of wearable gear due to the fact that the technology has yet to energize the public with real excitement. Most of today's global consumers have yet to become enamored with wearable technology or its endless possibilities because to this point it just hasn't been marketed properly. And frankly, some of the wearable tech such as Fitbits are, while useful in improving, are full of bugs in inaccurate data reporting. But if one were to consider the mobile phone and its capabilities, in just 20 years the mobile phone has gone from a one-use electronic device simply to make calls to a powerful computer with not only video capable communication, but a cross-platform social networking, GPS locating, multitasking personal assistant. Many phones even come equipped with voice activated artificial intelligence. What will the capabilities of artificial intelligence be in 20 years? This is a video of Machina Midi Jacket, a blistering example of future tech and probably the early stages of a truly remarkable piece of hardware. Curve Payment Ring, the Ample Backpack. The world's first contactless payment ring. Now you can leave all this at home and still pay for stuff with a single gesture. No pin or paired smartphone required. You can use Curve to make instant payments anywhere that displays the contactless payment symbol. With London, you can simply tap in on buses and on the underground, avoiding card clash and that frenzied search at the barrier for your ticket or Oyster card. You can also store contact details to share with friends or colleagues at the tap of an NFC-enabled phone. And you can even use Curve to operate an NFC door lock to access your home or office. We're proud to introduce the Ample Smart Backpack, the world's most advanced portable charging solution integrated directly into the fabric of a bag. I think that it should be easier to charge your phone and your laptop wherever you are without needing to find a power outlet. Medical Applications I'm Sarah Lamptey and I'm here with Kath Mackay to talk about future healthcare. So Kath, will we really be able to start treatment before we're born? Yes, we already have fetal scanning of fetal surgery and these are set to improve. So future humans will potentially be able to have a better start in life. So what happens as they grow up? Well, we've got the Internet of Things and wearable technology and that will allow us to get uh, measurements from us when we're in our own homes. It will allow us to create baseline data from when we're healthy and we can use that data to work out when things aren't quite right. OK, so what if it turns out that we do need to go to the doctors? Well, when we go to the doctors, it could be like taking our car in for a service. You'll get a full body scan. Also, technology is so good that you can detect illness even from breath. OK, so you've had your scan and then what happens after? You take information from that scan and the information that you've collected at home and that could build a complete picture of your health and what's wrong with you. And that's particularly important for chronic diseases like diabetes. So what if the scan actually shows something up then? Well, the unit could call a doctor over for a consultation. Or alternatively, it could dispense a treatment, a personalised medicine. Ingestible sensors are available now and could become widespread in use to detect a variety of problems. Augmented reality is transforming the future of medicine. Nanotechnology and transhumanism. 
whether it's the next step in evolution for the human species or the next phase in the information of technology, I believe we can all agree we are a long way from Star Trek, Star Wars, or Blade Runner. But if you go back and watch most sci-fi movies from the 50s, you'll find that we have come so very far, and Star Trek doesn't seem so much like fiction anymore. <laughs>